All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got um, an interesting mixed operations problem here, um, mixing a little bit of everything. We've got uh, some multiplication, subtraction, division, uh, addition. Uh, I think we've got it all here. <laughs> the main, the main operations uh, of mathematics. And, um, you know, I know a lot of people will see these problems, and I, I, I see the comments a lot online where people say, well, how does this, you know, relate to the real world and so on? You know, I kind of look at some of these math problems kind of like, you know, a boxer that's punching a bag. Uh, you know, they're using a speed bag, body bag, they're going through different drills. Somebody could say, well, like if they're going to box somebody, you know, hey, you know, they're hitting a bag and not another person. Like, how is that going to help you in boxing? And so the thing is, problems like these are just tests to see if you understand basic concepts. Just like a boxer who's using a speed bag or a body bag, they're training. They're training their arms, they're training their coordination, their speed, their hand-eye coordination, all these different things. It's 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 more than just getting in a ring and boxing somebody. And so this is the way I look at these problems. So, you know, if you are struggling with this, this is fine. You know, um, like I always do on these problems, I say, go ahead and pause the video uh, and we'll come back and we'll work this one out together. All right. So uh, we have 18 minus 2 times the quantity 5 plus 1. And then we have outer brackets here. Uh, and then uh, everything in those outer brackets is divided by 3. And then we're adding 7. Uh, so again, yeah, if you'd like to pause the video here, we'll come back and work it together. All right, so hopefully you've had a little time uh, to spend trying to work this one out. Um, again, this is really just another example of an order of operations uh, test, an order of operations problem, just to see whether or not <clears throat> you understand the proper order of operations. Now, I'm using uh, basically what's known as PEMDAS as an example. There are, you know, some other acronyms out there. They're, um, you know, in the UK, they typically use BODMAS, which is really the same thing. They just, uh, the parentheses are referred to as brackets. And ex instead of exponents, they use the word orders, which actually I kind of like better because, you know, orders is a generic term. Um, Really, the second step here, when, I say, when it says exponents, it really can re, it could even be like square roots, factorials. It's really anything that can be um, um, a shorthand for repeated multiplication. So um, it really is more than just exponents. But uh, and then you've got you know step three, you're, you have multiplication and division left to right. This is one that throws a lot of people off. A lot of people see acronyms like PEMDAS and BODMAS. And they automatically assume that either the multiplication is always done first or the division is always done first. And if you've watched any of my other videos, um, you know that's not the case. But it is really one of the biggest fallacies, one of the things that people get wrong consistently uh, on this. And again, number step number four, addition and subtraction also have equal precedence. Subtraction is just adding a negative number. Uh, really the same operation. There are people who actually get that wrong, too. I've seen people um, uh, get the wrong answer on problems that just have nothing more than addition and subtraction together <clears throat> because somehow they're trying to force the addition before the subtraction, uh, and it's really causing a mess. But I'm getting way, way off topic here on this. Um, but this is a good test. Uh, of your knowledge, because this really um, includes about everything. It doesn't include the exponents, but let's go ahead and start working it out. Um, I'll, I'll quit rambling for a minute here. So the way you look at this is when we talk about parentheses, step number one, uh, we actually have two sets of them here. We actually, um, in, in the United States, we would refer to these like as square brackets uh, on the outside, and then the inner one, uh, inner we have inner parentheses around the 5 plus 1. Uh, it might be helpful here, actually, if I go and create a pointer, which I sometimes forget to do. But um, these would be our inner parentheses around 5 plus 1. Then we have these outer brackets around all of this. So when we're looking at something like this, 
when we see these outer brackets, we know that everything inside of these brackets is eventually going to be divided by 3. But when we're dealing with parentheses and brackets, we have to deal with the inner ones first. That's the way the, uh, the, way the brackets are done. A lot of the problems I've shown so far uh, in all my videos, I only have one set of parentheses or one set of brackets, um, and that's fine. But whenever you have something like this, you have embedded parentheses or embedded brackets, you need to look at the inner pair first. So in this case, we have 5 plus 1. Uh, so we need to resolve the innermost parentheses. 5 plus 1 is 6, right? So very, our very first step here, we're going to end up with uh, 18 minus 2 times 6 inside of these uh, uh, outer brackets. So we're resolving this 5 plus 1 before we do anything else. That's the way it works. Now, if you remember what it means when we're talking about parentheses and brackets, um, these are nothing more than grouping symbols. So right now, we've really already taken care of the six. You know, we could replace these inner parentheses with a multiplication symbol. This is implicit multiplication. It's the same thing as me writing out two and then a multiplication symbol and six. Um, now, uh, the thing to keep in mind again, parentheses and brackets are nothing more than grouping symbols. And what they tell us is that they tell us that we need to follow the order of operations inside of those parentheses or brackets. That's what it's telling us. So what we do is we're looking at what is within these two brackets here. And um, we follow the order of operations, right? Well, we don't have any other parentheses really other than you know these parentheses. Um, but this is also multiplication. So we don't have any exponents, we have multiplication. So within these outer brackets, we're solving multiplication first. Two times six is what? Two times six is 12, right? Um, now, so this second step here, we're, we're solving within the outer brackets. So multiplication is solved first within those outer brackets. So we're left with 18 minus 12 inside of these brackets divided by 3 plus 7. So we've, we've reduced it down. I mean, honestly, this next step, I really hardly have to explain it, right? Uh, it's pretty obvious that we, we're still dealing inside of these brackets. Uh, we haven't resolved them yet. 18 minus 12 is what, guys? 18 minus 12 is 6. So we can come all the way down here to the bottom, and we see that we have 6 now. And the 6 is divided by 3. And why is that? Okay, we've done our parentheses, we've, we've handled our brackets, uh, we've done everything inside of them. We're left with, we're finally left with division and addition. Well, the division has higher precedence than, than addition. Division is higher uh, order than, uh, than addition, so we do the 6 divided by 3 first. Uh, so what we're left with here is we solve that division. 6 divided by 3 is pretty simple, right? 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 plus 7 is 9. So here again are all the steps. We basically had uh, about four different steps that we went through. We solved inside of the innermost parentheses. Then we are still solving within the outer brackets. So multiplication sol solved first within the outer brackets. Uh, and then we end up, we still have to finish inside of the brackets. Uh, so we do the addition. That's, well, actually, it was subtraction, wasn't it? 18 minus 12, I believe it was. Yes, 18 minus 12, and that was 6. Um, so we didn't we didn't move on to the division because we still had to resolve inside of the parentheses or brackets. So so fairly simple. Um, this one should really be pretty straightforward. There's nothing. Nothing uh, really crazy in this problem, but um, I hope hope this explanation has been helpful. Uh, hopefully, you got the right answer. And if not, hey, feel free to rewatch the video. Maybe go back and see what step uh, you might have made a mistake with. But um, um, if this video has been helpful at all, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, and you know what, guys, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.